<laughs> enjoying everyone. So good evening again. My name is Brendan Gill. I'm a SS County Freeholder for District 5. I am uh, joined here with my colleague, uh, at-large freeholder Patricia Siebold, who represents uh, all of Essex County. And we are here uh, tonight to recognize the accomplishments of the Glen Ridge uh, Girls Lacrosse team, who, congratulations. <laughs> That's great. That wasn't even an applause line. So that's that's uh, that's uh, that's fantastic. I know we're joined, uh, and we'll probably hear from them in a few minutes uh, by our athletic director Tim Liddy and our coach, uh, your head coach Beth Larkin. Um, so uh, first and foremost, uh, I had a chance to mention uh, to Tim and to a couple of the parents that um, I'm born and raised in Montclair. I still make Montclair my home. And Montclair has a, has a long uh, lacrosse uh, tradition. I did not play lacrosse, I played uh, baseball. But um, what I have noticed uh, in the past few years uh, is the tremendous job uh, that Glen Ridge, uh, particularly the girls lacrosse program has done, has really come on the scene uh, with tremendous success. And I think that you're to be um, absolutely commended for that uh, and credited for all the hard work that I know that goes into that in order to accomplish those goals. Uh, and not only for your uh, for your athletic success, but I understand also for your academic success. I, I understand that um, you have on this team uh, many uh, scholar athletes, and I think you're to be commended not only for your work uh, in the uh, on the on the lacrosse field, but also for your work in the classroom. So. Um, I'll read a little bit of what's in the resolution, whereas the 2012 Glen Ridge High School Girls Lacrosse team won the 2012 Group 1 State Championship by defeating the Pingree School of Martinsville 16 to 11 on May 31st in Robbinsville, New Jersey. In state tournament competition, the Ridgers first defeated North Warren Regional High School, Glen Rock High School, Kent Place School of Summit, and then Mountain Lakes High School to win the North Group One Sectional Championship before going on to defeat Pingree for its second, and I underline that, second consecutive Group One state crown and earn a coveted place in the Tournament of Champions for the second consecutive year. Before I start, this means a great deal to me because I retired fairly recently after teaching for 30 years at West Orange High School. And my grandson, who's a freshman at Livingston High School, has just finished playing varsity lacrosse. Even though he's a freshman, they put him on the lacrosse team. And my granddaughter is on the traveling lacrosse team for Livingston. So it means a lot to me, and I'm really pleased to be here to contribute to honoring all of you who have done such a wonderful job. Leading up to the state tournament play, the team completed undefeated 6-0 seasons in both the Super Essex Conference and the North Jersey Interscholastic Girls Lacrosse League, thereby capturing the American Division and the Stars and Stripes North Division Championships, respectively. The team also won the 2012 Essex County Tournament by defeating West Essex Regional High School 17-7 on May 12th. The Glen Ridge High School girls lacrosse team concluded its state championship season, the second in school history for the girls program, with an outstanding overall record of 21 victories with only four losses, and was ranked as the number four girls lacrosse team in New Jersey by the Star Ledger. So if I could call uh, your head coach, uh, Beth Larkin and Tim to uh, come on up. And um, we have proclamations for uh, all of the young women on the team. And uh, if I could also again just say, I was, I was just elected in November. Uh, my first, this is my first time holding public office. So these are the first proclamations that I have done on behalf of the Freeholder Board. And I couldn't be prouder uh, to do it uh, on behalf of the Glen, Glen Ridge Girls Lacrosse team. And uh, you have my Best wishes uh, and continued support. A great two seasons and uh, congratulations. And to all the young ladies, congratulations on a, a job well done. Maddie Schmidt, Tess Howland. Girls, come on up and I call your name. Francesca Cali, Caroline Smith, Galen O'Neill, Jenna Mulrennan, Kendall Smith, Isabella Solohub, Paige Moriarty, Claire Malone, Julia Short, 
Caroline Thiel, Natasha Dombrowski, Molly Winchell, Leslie Crane, Lizzie Manilis, Jesse Fidel, Mayor Lisa Barstow, and Lisa, Liza Howland. Maggie Moriarty, Mary Alotti, Daniela Sovich, and Lizzie Cohn. Head coach Beth Larkin and assistant coach Erica Spatz. Um, I just want to uh, take a minute here. I know not the entire team is here because we're in the middle of finals week. Um, so it's just, you know, as you said, we have a lot of scholar athletes and they take their um, schoolwork very seriously. But um, I want to thank you very much for honoring our team. Um, they do do a, a great job all over the field for us. And um, it's just a great honor to be here tonight and, and, and to get this award and this recognition for, for all their hard work that they do. I'm very proud of them. Thank you so much for honoring us tonight. It's uh, really nice of you. And I would also just like to thank you guys for letting us play at Watts Hussing Field. Um, without it, we would not be able to, like without the facilities, we'd not have been able to accomplish the things that we did in the last two years. Thank you. I want to uh, congratulate all the players on the team, our coaching staff, and, and the parents of the players for going through everything this past season. So thank you very much supporting, for supporting your daughters um, this year. I'd also th like to thank the county freeholders for inviting us down here. It's great to come down here two years in a row. I love it when Gary calls me up on the phone and asks for information because I know it's been a successful year. And as Maggie said, we love playing at Watts Essing Park. It's a beautiful county facility, and I think it's really helped all of our, uh, our programs out. So thank you very much for the invitation, and uh, congratulations to everybody here tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations again. Just one, uh, one closing. Uh, we got the question earlier, what is a freeholder? <laughs> Which I, I think might be on some people's minds. The, free old, the, the freeholders, and it's a question I get all the time, the freeholders are the legislative arm of county government. So there's a county executive and a county freeholder board which functions as the legislative body for county government. And you, uh, we are in uh, a very historic chamber. And uh, so this, uh, this chamber, which oftentimes, and even before I got involved in, in politics and public life, didn't know that this beautiful facility existed right here in, in our beautiful county of Essex. It's uh, historic, and your success in this ceremony has contributed to that rich uh, tradition. So best of luck again, and continued success. I would just like to add to that that we have the largest and oldest county park system in the United States. And you play at one of our wonderful parks, because I just heard that you are at Watsessing. And you know that under the county executive's direction, with the freeholder support, we have worked very hard to make all of the parks in Essex County just as wonderful as ever to help the quality of life for all of you. And I'm happy that you're using one of our parks. That is wonderful. That's what we do. <laughs> <laughs>